some of us are fairly new to the church. What kind of picture do you have in your eyes of God? For the longest time, I, I felt I trusted God. One of my favorite Bible verses, first, um, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding, found in Proverbs 3. And I really thought I trusted God, but God showed me it wasn't really trust. I had been disappointed so many times. Satan had made me feel that I couldn't trust God. I couldn't count on God because I had prayed and I'd been disappointed because my prayers weren't answered. And so I had to, I had to look at God in a different way and realize if I'm going to trust God, whatever I ask, I have to believe that if I'm trusting God, he's going to give me what is best. So you said, what does that have to do with tithe and offering? If you don't trust God, are you going to prove him? Are you going to try him, as it says in Malachi? Are you going to take 10% of your hard-earned money every paycheck and return to God? You know, it's not yours to begin with, so you're not giving your tithe. You're returning your tithe. But if you don't trust him, you're probably not going to give that. Returning your tithe is a sign of your obedience to God. So if you're not trusting God, you're probably not obeying him. You're probably not returning a faithful tithe. And your offerings are a sign of your appreciation, your generosity. If you're not trusting God, you're probably not going to feel good about God. You're not going to return or give a tithe because you're not trusting God. So we have to learn how to trust and believe that God is going to do what he says he's going to do, and that because he is God, whatever happens, he knows what's best anyway. So as you prepare your tithe and offering, and maybe you've prepared it already, but maybe it wasn't a faithful tithe, or maybe it wasn't a generous offering. So we're going to give you time now to rewrite it if you need to, but think about the God that you serve. And after we've heard about all of the wonderful things that God is doing and can do and is going to be doing, you want to show him that you love him and that you appreciate who he is. Our deacons can come forward now for tithe and offering. We will now receive God's tithe and your offering. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house, and prove me now herewith, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not pour you out a blessing.
that there shall not be room enough to receive. Let us pray. Thank you so much, Lord. As you said in your word in Deuteronomy 8, where you give us the power to acquire wealth. Please give us the mind to graciously and cheerfully give back that wealth. Lord, that these funds may go for your glory and for the blessing of mankind. Thank you for the opportunity. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Thank you, church.